tackle Lachlan about it today, and then we can decide how to proceed. What are you accusing him of now? Spying on Bernice. And before you jump to his defence, there's plenty of evidence. You can see the video on his laptop for yourself. I really don't want to get him into trouble, Chrissy. I just want it stopped. Lachlan hasn't done anything wrong. You've heard your dad. We've got evidence. Yeah, maybe, but it wasn't him that was filming you. It, it was me. You wanted to catch me out, but I didn't think you'd sink so low as to sticking in hidden cameras. Oh, don't take the moral high ground with me after the way you behave with Andy. I made a mistake, OK? It seems to me that you've made plenty. Last one ended up with three people dead. I thought we'd agreed to put the past behind us and to make a fresh start. Yeah, well, there's no point doing that until you see her for what she is. A gold-digging tart. I can't let you talk about my wife like that. Now, we've been over this. I thought you two were starting to get on. Yeah, well, I don't want to see you getting hurt. I, I, I'm only looking out for you because I care. Yes, well, I happen to care about him, too. Yeah, about his money, you mean. Oh, you don't understand the first thing about our marriage. I know it was doomed before you even took your vows. Oh, well, you couldn't be more wrong. If I wanted to be the tart that you already think I am, your dad gave me permission. But I don't need it because we are happy as we are. Gave you permission? <laughs> What, what is she talking about, Dad? I know you think you've been trying to help me. Maybe after the way Robert behaved, you think that all marriages are doomed. But Bernice and I, we know we can be happy together. All I'm asking of you is to give us the chance to try. Will you promise me at least that much, hmm? If that's what you want. <sighs> Thank you. Anything to add, Bernice? I just want to feel safe in my own home. So no more hidden cameras, no more honey traps. OK? You have my word. <sighs> Good. Then I think we can put this whole unfortunate mess behind us. <laughs> no, not, not yet. Y you said you'd give us a chance. Yes, and I will. When she's explained what she meant by you giving her permission. I, uh, I think it might be easiest if you leave me alone with my daughter for a few minutes, hmm? When, when we talked a few weeks ago, you admitted that you and Mum weren't very physical. But if this means what I think it does, you can't expect it to persuade me to like Bernice. It's not something I really want to discuss. I. Uh... I just want to reassure you that Bernice is far from being a gold digger. In fact, she also had reservations about this marriage. I find that hard to believe. Well, as you know, I'm much older than she is and... <clears throat> ...less interested in the physical side. In fact, I was open enough to tell her that that need not form part of this marriage at all. I'm sorry, Dad. I have no wish to discuss your sex life with you any more than you do, but a, a marriage without it isn't really a marriage, is it? I think being in love is about more than that. I want to spend the rest of my life with Bernice. But... given the age difference, I wasn't sure that I could ask her to... <clears throat> Give that up forever. So you just said she could stray whenever she wanted? I was willing to, yes. As long as she was discreet, but... <laughs> she didn't want to. And you believed her? Well, I was the one who suggested it, so she had no reason to lie. Yeah, maybe not, but... you would never have offered her this deal if you really loved her. You're wrong. If there's one thing I've learned in this life... It's that love isn't just about sex. But you and Mum had a perfectly normal marriage. Are you trying to tell me that you two had some sort of arrangement as well? <laughs> 